What is up everybody? It is time for another awesome video today. Today we are going to do the Ultimate Stockades Beginner's Boost Guide video. It's going to be an awesome video. You're going to want to stay through the whole damn video. You also want to hit that subscribe button down below and hit the bell for notifications for a bunch of awesome content. I wish that I knew this route and these methods when I was starting off with boosting. So let's get started. An awesome thing about this video is that it can be done with a fresh 60 with no gear from raids. Raid gear will help a little bit, but it's not necessary. All you need to do is you just need to go grab stamina and intellect gear from the auction house. Uh, and it's of the eagle gear. And even then, you can still do this with just basic, really bad gear. The only thing that's really required is minor speed increase on boots. That just helps you keep distance from the mobs. So on your action bar, all you're gonna need is you're gonna need to be specced into ice berries. So you need that on there. You'll need a rank one arcane explosion because that's what you will use to pull the mobs. You'll need a max rank arcane explosion because that's what you're gonna use to blow the mobs up. You're going to need a max rank Kona Cold, max rank Flame Strike. You're going to need a rank 1 Frost Nova, rank 1. You don't need anything higher than rank 1 Frost Nova ever, so don't ever put anything higher on your bars. Um, you're going to also want to make sure you have your Ice Armor, Mana Shield on your bars, Ice Block for oh shit situations, and obviously you want your Blink on there. So we're going to start off by making some mana gems, it's always good to have them, just in case if you run out of mana, shit happens. So a couple of add-ons that are a must for doing boosting is one is called Nova Instance Tracker. That will help you track all of your instances you've been in, so you can know how long, how many instances you've been in an hour and how long until your lockout is over. It also has a gold tracker, so you can track to see who has traded you gold or not, which is awesome. Another one is Kill Tracker. Uh, kill Tracker kills uh, tracks the amount of kills you have done in the instance, so you'll know if you pulled the whole instance or not. Stockades has 93 mobs, so when Kill Tracker gets to 93, that means you know you've done a full clean pull. And also down below, I'm gonna have the spec uh, that I'm doing uh, in the description. So if you wanna know what build we use, uh, here's a little tidbit, but I'm gonna put it in the description so you can copy it. So before you get in, you wanna make sure you get your buffs up. So you wanna make sure you get Arcade Intellect. You want to make sure you get your ice armor up. So let's make some water and some food. And generally you want to make enough before uh, for a whole five set because you drink a lot during these runs. An important thing about runs, boost runs, is the most important thing is to be able to be in and out within 12 minutes, which means have the run completed, out of the instance, reset, and back in before 12 minutes is up. If you can do that, um, you're perfectly fine. So both of these methods I'm about to show you are going to uh, be within that time rank frame. The first method I'm going to show you is the super beginners pull. Uh, this one works in under the 12 minute time frame. And then the second method I'm going to show you is the method I, my preferred method. I'm going to put on the clock right here so you can see the times of these. So let's get going here. Okay, so before you get pulling, you want to put your, want to make sure to put your ice barrier up, 
And you want to make sure to put your mana shield up. And then you don't start running until the cooldown is at 20 seconds or less, so you have time to do some running and have time to put it back on. So let's go ahead and start doing the pulls. We're going to pull these with rank 1. We're going to try to dodge these fuckers. Then you jump, you have to do a 360 for style. It's always a something you have to do. So your ice armor is going to uh, slow them. I wouldn't suggest to do a max rank arcade explosion on here unless you have uh, clear casting. So now we got these first four cells and then we're going to go Nova them up. Then we're gonna max rank flame strike, light them on fire. And boom, that's the first part of this uh, basic pull right there is just the first four cells. Now we're going to drink. And there is a path that goes across. So you want to make sure of that path, uh, that your boosties stay away from any of these mobs because that path will pull or that mob will pull. So just be careful of that. Now we're going to shield up. And we're gonna get going. We're gonna just pull this north room right here as the last part of this. Um, when I started doing boost runs, I was trying to do all rooms, and I was new to boosting, and it I got a little frustrated at it. So this just is an easier, quicker approach. So this will be perfect for a new booster. And boosting is gonna be a great way to help you get some extra gold to be ready for TBC. Who's ready for that TBC hype? Let's get her, hell yeah. Now we're gonna drink, and we're gonna do, always do the set of the rooms to the right. And the reason being is those mobs stun. So in case if you have to use your ice block, uh, that ensures that your ice block will be up in time for the next run. Now we're full mana, so we're gonna go get our shields up. And in this hallway, we're only going to pull the two cells at a time. That will ensure you if you do get stunned, you will not die, so it makes it a little easier for you. Let's see, look, see, they got a stun up on me. That stun is really RNG, there's no way really around it. 360 for style. And these mobs can get a chain stuns on you that really can suck. So, they are done. And there's paths that come down, up and down. So if you're doing this method for boosting for a while, I uh, don't advise your boosties to come loot until you have the whole hallways cleared. Because with their low level, they will pull mobs, and if you have to leave the pull, they will help a boostie. It increases your time in here significantly, and it sucks. And then when you when that happens, the boosties uh, never take uh, accountability for it. And they get mad when you call them out. I do it all the time. I don't give a shit. They want to do dumb shit. They get to deal with heat. So now we're gonna go pull these mobs. They're all running in here, clumped up. See if they got a stun off on me. Now I'm gonna flame strike them. Boom. See. And you want to make sure you keep them inside your flame strike so they're always taking ticking damage. So now those four cells are done. So now we're going to do this uh, circle room that has three cells in a little middle area. One thing about this room is the, the boss, uh, Basil, he resets a bunch. Just be careful. So I always... Uh, find it that he usually will not reset if you just 
Just load them full of fucking damage and just slay them out when you go into the room. You'll see. So I've got shields on. I'm gonna staff this motherfucker. Pop. Just, just go. Full mobs. See, they got stun off on me. They ain't gonna kill me. I'm gonna kill them. They're about to get fucked. There's Basil. So I'm gonna do a couple Max Ray Car King explosions to get some damage on to hopefully that he doesn't reset. It usually works, but sometimes. See, now I got some stuns off on me. So now I got Flame Strike, pop. So Basil's dead, the whole, all the hallways are done. And you got that part of the run toasted out. And one thing I did forget to do, I forgot to put my shields up uh, right before we went in the last room. So make sure to always put your shields up when they're on, when you're running low and they are um, not on cooldown. And you'll see in the middle of my screen a little set of bars when I put my uh, shield on. That's a weak aura. I'll put a link to that in the description. But now we're gonna go pull this four hall, this uh, four cells in here, because these mobs uh, don't stun you. There's a pat that can stun you, but it rarely happens. Three sixty for good luck. And then four mobs. Now we gotta go blink across. Shields. I'm gonna wait for these mobs. See, there's the path that can stun. Got me a stun, but just only one. They are all deleted. Now we get mana and food. We're gonna get ready to finish this instance off. So we're gonna get our shields up and we're gonna drink some more until the cooldown gets to be under 20 seconds then we're gonna go we're gonna hit this fucker pop and so in this room uh the room to the left you don't have to worry about the boss resetting because the boss won't reset so pull everybody with the rank one arcane explosion And rank one arcane explosion is the most efficient way to pull all the mobs. I got them all. Shield. You'll see that sometimes I'm not popping my shields on right away because I got a good gauge of what set of mobs are gonna kill me or not. So I would suggest at the beginning to always have your shields on a cooldown. So we cleared that in nine minutes. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go exit the instance. We're gonna drink. I'm gonna leave the timer going so that you can see that you can be in and out without pathing in another 10, 12 minutes to get going with the next run. And don't worry about what boosties will think about that timing. They're probably not timing. And they're probably AFK doing something. Who knows what they're doing. But they're not, they're most of the time just gonna be AFK. That's why it's always good to have your um, group, your loot on group loot. 
I don't know if you're um, free for all, so that somebody who wants to loot can go ahead and uh, loot. So we're going to reset our kill tracker. And the method we're going to show you is the method that I like to do. And this method will, if you go in a refresh instance and start the pull within just a couple of seconds, you can get the pat that runs in the first hallway so that uh, your boosters can go, go loot the very north room where we have the, we're gonna kill the mobs so that they do not aggro anything. Okay. See, hook back in with an 1127. So now, gotta get my shield up, drink, and now this one, we're gonna pull all four cells and the north room. People like the big pulls, they like seeing the big uh, chunks of experience coming up. 360 for good luck. Be doing some parkour up in this motherfucker. Run, gnome, run. So right here, we are going to Blink across. We're gonna put our shields up. I always like to look down and see there's there he is. One man shield up, get to get some more shields. Okay, now it's time to go up the my eyes. We run around him. See the the ad got a stun off, which is okay. We got them all. Done. So they're gonna die here really quick. Boom. Easy. So that is the first full hallway and the northmost room, including the path. So I forgot to do my timer, uh, but once we get out of this instance, I have an add on that will show how long we've been in here. So on, when we go to the right room, I like to uh, hold this hallway and then two cells. I don't like doing the four cells because of their stuns. Um, I just don't like dealing with that shit. So. so what I normally do is I pull this whole hallway, including the mob at the very back. So. I'm gonna grab right here. Pull mobs. Blink across. Oh, I blinked that badly. Oh well. And there is a rare elite mob that comes around. So, we got those cells and everything in the hallway. So now your boosties can come into this room, first room to the right, to uh, loot without worrying about paths coming through. So now we're going to do these last two cells and then the circle room. So uh, as far as the stockade boost goes, um, this is again a great way to start off with boosting. I would highly suggest it. And if you um, are new here, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. You're going to want to go check out all my videos. I also have a, a ZG boost run guide, so you want to go in there too. Check that out. See, they stunned me, but they stunned me while they were still in my flame strike, so they're taking ticking damage. So.
Now we are on the last little pull in this right section of the pull, of the boost pull. Okay. Building up. Let's go. Just running like a gnome. Move those legs, motherfucker. There's Basil. Gonna pop that motherfucker. Now I'm gonna get my shields up. I got stunned right away. So now, we still have Basil over here. And dead. Boom. Let's go finish off the easy side of the room of the instance. And this is the easy part of the instance. Only one mob will really stun you, so you can't really get chain stuns off on you. The only difference between on this section than the last pull is I will pull the mob at the very back with everybody. Just to allow a lot, little bit safer, safer looting from the boosties. It also puts when they all go in that room, so a boosty doesn't step wrong and aggro that last one when you're drinking. It really just fuck things up. Okay, we are going. We move out. Okay, time for our 360 for good luck. Pop. So this is where I'll go grab that mob in the back. Shields up. Yep. I'm not gonna blink right here because I forgot to arcane explosion the first mob in the room to aggro him, so I wasn't I don't wanna go back, so. So now we got them all. Flame strike. Flame strike's gonna be free because of clear casting. So good mana. So no, they just all just topple over. So we're just gonna go drink, we're gonna get shields, and then we're gonna mob out of this. Okay. Shields, then we're gonna drink until we have less than 20 seconds left on the cooldown. And one important tip, uh, if you do get a bunch of uh, stuns in the other room is to uh you can ice block when you get stunned so you don't get chain stunned so you just ice block until your blink is up and you blink and uh frost nova builds up i'm just gonna wait right here at the back let them come to me and i'm all Kill them in the cells. Kill them in the cells. Okay, it is all done. We got 93 mobs. Now we're gonna run out of here. So I can show you that this was also under the time limit and it was quicker than the last pull. So a couple things about stockade boosting before I get going on what I mentioned is the going rate is three gold a run. So it's three gold a run, 15 gold for five. I know it sounds crazy, you're all probably thinking yourself three times five is 15, yes. But you gotta be specific because 
uh, people will try to just jip you. And it's always good to uh, pay, uh, have them pay up front. So it looks like my add-on didn't say anything because I don't have a group in here, but that was a lot quicker than the last run, so it was uh, under the time frame. So again, make sure to have people pay you up front because uh, people will try to come for one run and leave and that really fucks things up because then you gotta go find another person and you have to make everybody wait. Just make them pay up front so if they do leave you get some extra gold. So hopefully you all enjoyed the video, learned something. And again, you're going to want to hit the uh, subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications to know when all the awesome content is coming out. Because soon we're going to be fucking streaming because we got new internet. Let's get a hell yeah for that. And until next time, later.